Okay. This is more and this is less. This is more. This is less. This is more and this is less. More and less. Hmm. Let's compare my two chocolate chip cookies. Remember, comparing is telling, is analyzing the cookies and to see um, how they're alike and how they're different. Well, they're the same color and they're the same shape. But did you hear my song? Mmm, there are more chips on one cookie than there are on the other. How many chips are on this cookie? One. I bet you eyeballed that one pretty easily, huh? Can you eyeball how many are on this cookie? If you said five, well, let's prove it. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. If you said five, ooh, Thumbs up, brain kiss, great job. All right, well, I have a problem. I wanted to give these cookies to two of my friends, but I'm really worried they're gonna want the same cookie. Do you know which cookie it would be? Probably this one, huh? Do you know why? Well, it has more chocolate chips, and who doesn't want chocolate chips? So guys, how can I fix this so that my friends will be happy? Both of them, win-win. Hmm. Well, I know there's five on this cookie and one on this, so how could I redistribute this? How could I figure out how many more chips I need to make the other person happy? Well, if I was having trouble figuring it out, I could do a math strategy called one-to-one, -one, and that's where I just give them partners. So I line these up. We've done this before in class, and I give, and I line that one up. And then I just keep lining this one up on this side because it was on this cookie. Oops, I'm gonna kind of be like that. Okay, now do you see only one has a partner? How many more do not have partners? Oop, this one doesn't have a partner. One, two, three, four. Four chips do not have partners. So that means that I need four chips. So. One, two, three, four. They all have partners, so both cookies would have equal or the same amount of chips. This one would have one, two, three, four, five, and this one would have one, two, three, four, five. But guys, what if I did not have extra chips? I used all of the ones that were in the bag. What would I do? Oh no. Hmm. You know what I could do? I could do another strategy. And I could match each one of the chips to a cookie and see what happens. So I'm going to put a cookie here or a chip here on this cookie and a chip on this cookie. I'm going to put a chip on this cookie and a chip on this cookie. I'm going to put a chip on this cookie and a chip on this cookie until I'm out of chips. And I'm out of chips, wait. So let's see if they are equal or the same. How many are on this one? Did you count it? Could you eyeball it? Let's count. One, two, three, if you got that brain kiss. How many are on this one? One, two, three. Are they the same? Oh my goodness. I just put one on this cookie and one on this. Kind of like when you guys pass out your snack. Everybody gets one. Wait a second. Let's make sure that that's right. Let's do our one-to-one -one again. So let's line these up on this side. And let's line these up on this side. Make sure everybody has a partner. Does everyone have a partner? That means that they are equal or they are the same. Wow. That is amazing. So on your assignment, you're gonna do the same thing. You're going to pass out snack. So you might have two bowls, you might have three bowls. Remember, put one, 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 and then go back. And one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you, okay? Until all of the cookies or muffins or whatever is gone. Oh, I can't wait to see how you do.
use that math, those math strategies to help you problem solve.